What is a producer? What is, what a, is a producer? A producer. Tell us for those of us that see that title on the screen and doesn't know exactly what he or, what he or she does. All right. So um, you have an idea, someone you can adapt from a book, or you can look at something like DNA, or you can look at the space world, or you can look at, you know, what we're talking about here, racing or cars. And a producer, a, a good producer, a creative producer, will take a look at that. And they'll say, what's the story in that? There's got to be some story, some something that's going to get eyeballs. And, and as I say in the thing that I wrote up, that you've got to find something, a visceral feeling about stuff. I mean, is, is there something which will get people in their gut when they see it? You know, they just connect on a different level. Uh, and you can do that with home video cameras and connect, right? Where do you see the sizzle reel I have for my uh, DNA show? I can't wait. So, but how about into the nuts and bolts? I mean, is it, when you say executive producer, is it something to do with the choosing of the team and yeah. the budget and yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. what do you do? Hire everybody. Or what does a producer do? The CEO of that production. You hire everybody. Everybody works for the producer. Or executive producer. You, if you're executive producer, you can also hire the producer, and he's going to run around and hire the camera camera crew, and hire the assistants and the uh, directors and all of the other people. So editors, you have to find the right editor for every show, all that kind of stuff. Not just anybody. It's got to be people have specialties and they've had experience in different areas, uh, and you have to look and find those guys and what their experience level is. And you find them and you put them in into slots. That's a producer. And you build out a team that will work together really, really well because everybody by that time knows what to do. And they know, they look at the guy across the, the desk that they've been hired, they've never met each other before, but they've seen his resume and they know, okay, I know that he can do it, so I'm going to trust him. And it's all about trust in this business. It's, you've got to trust, you know, the, the network is trusting me to deliver what I say I can deliver. And in fact, I just went through this with my agent. You know, I, I, I was pitching this, this project about DNA and my tendency is to make a deck, which is long, 16, 20 pages and explain everything. And it's this, and it's going to be this, and it's going to be that, and it's all this thing happening. This is connected over here and all that, you know? Uh, and, you, and you get to the end of that and you're either really enthralled or you're exhausted. <laughs> and he said, he said, fuck that. Get rid of all that stuff. You know, you've got one thing. He said, when I saw your sizzle reel, that blew me away. You don't need anything else because you're a journeyman, experienced, seasoned producer who's got hundreds of credits over many years and you've made a lot of money for a lot of people. That's all you need to say. They don't, they don't need anything else. You know, it's like you don't explain yourself. And I always, I do that too much, I guess, a little insecurity. I want to tell my whole story to everybody. But you don't have to do that. No, and that's the beautiful thing about being sage and seasoned. Sometimes we wonder as we age, are we as relevant as when we were young? But really what you bring to the table is your hundreds of credits and your reputation yeah. and the ROI that you've provided. Hard, hard and then you know what you're looking at and you know what you're talking about. And you made a phenomenal sizzle, which I can't wait to see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I say I can do something and I'm excited about it, you know, you better believe I'll get it done. I'll figure it out. It's like, and, the, and that's the key, key to this as well. It's figuring it out. I always say those, those three words because nobody knows what it is in a creative project. It's like, it's not just, oh, we're going to take some cameras and a crew out and we're shoot a bunch of stuff. You know, no, it's not that at all. It's like, where's the heartbeat of this thing? Where's that visceral feeling? And when I see it, it's going to hit me in the gut and, and make me, you know, want to go to the bathroom or something, you know, <laughs> that's what it is. It's like, you've got to be, have the experience to know that's where the story is. It's that, you know, and that will make the thing go and people will t tap into that. And that's what I'm good at. That's what I've learned how to do.
This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars.